Hey there, I'm Sarah McDougall, and I'm an author, speaker, trainer, and abuse recovery coach who works exclusively with women wounded by toxic relationships in the faith community. As a coach, I come alongside you when you're dealing with the raw and painful stuff, like struggling to decide whether your relationship is actually abusive, processing the pain of betrayal from pornography addiction or infidelity in your marriage, dealing with the fallout of starting over after abuse and trying to get back on your feet, sorting through the anguish of a toxic friendship and broken trust in your social circle, disentangling yourself from toxic family dynamics and learning how to respect yourself, needing guidance to set healthy boundaries at home, work, church, or with friends, or feeling shattered from a toxic workplace environment and wondering how to regain your confidence. I use coaching to empower you with practical, proven, faith-based methods of regulating thoughts and emotions and setting safe boundaries, recognizing unsafe behavior patterns, and making essential lifestyle adjustments. Why do I do this? Because I'm a survivor too. I know how it feels to be systematically disassembled and manipulated and lied to until you wonder if you're crazy. I know how it feels to live in fear for your safety to lose years of sleep and collect unexplained health issues, to feel that no matter what you do or who you try to become, you are never ever going to be loved with faithfulness and loyalty by the person who sleeps on the pillow next to yours. I know how it feels to have these vague memories of the vibrant girl you used to be and to wonder how she became so empty and jaded and numb. I know how it feels to be terrified for your kids and fight tooth and nail for their protection. I know how it feels to have scripture twisted and weaponized against you in ways that are meant to keep you silent and small. I know the pain of losing friendships that turned out to be toxic instead of trusted. And I know how it feels to survive a malignant workplace environment in the faith community where you thought you could trust other people of God who nearly ended up destroying your soul instead. So what is wild? Wild is my journey out of that wilderness of abuse. Wild is your journey too. Wild is also my acronym for the four stages of growth that you and I experience as we leave the wilderness of abuse and toxicity behind. Those four stages are wisdom. How do I make wise choices? Identity. Who does God say that I really am? Legacy. What baggage have I left behind? And daring. Where am I going next? I founded WILD because I didn't want one more woman to go through this kind of abuse without having access to a support system created specifically to guide you through your own journey out of the wilderness of abuse and into the wild. A life where you're free to make wise, safe choices that lead you toward wholeness. In addition to coaching abuse victims, I write books and articles about abuse. I do videos about abuse and healing and recovery. And I also train leaders and survivors to become warriors against the epidemic of abuse behind closed doors in the faith community. I know how it feels to have your reality shatter. And my story is proof that God can bring beauty and healing and freedom even after immense heartbreak and fear and pain. And I want that for you. So right now, what can you do? Here's a few options. You can binge watch my YouTube channel for totally free. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. You can browse my articles on www.wildernesstowild.com. And don't forget to check out my free recommended reading book lists that are pinned at the top. You can download one of my totally free PDF resources. You can book a private clarity coaching session and see if you can figure out what's going on. You can hop on my exclusive update list to get first dibs on upcoming group coaching sessions. They book up fast and coaching membership opportunities. You can schedule an awareness event or a training intensive to help make your church, school or community organization a safer, healthier place. I'm glad you found wild. And it's my dream for you to leave your wilderness behind as Jesus gives you his freedom to live wild.